I'm gonna show you how to tell if your car is a car or truck is a limited slip differential in the rear. This will work for any rear wheel drive car or truck. And uh, this right here is the differential. And that's the pumpkin. So one way to tell is to look at this code tab right here. Every differential for the most part has a tab. And let's see if we can get a picture. You can see here it says four, 10. That's the rear gears, so they're four to 10. Uh, that's the ratio. If there, if this is limited slip, it'd say 4L10. You could also have three seven threes, so it'd say 3L73. That means it's limited slip, and that's one way to tell. The problem with that is a lot of people change out their rear differentials, so you don't know for sure. So I'm going to show you how to tell for sure. Another thing is that when you have limited slip, you have to add a limited slip additive when you do the differential fluid change in the back. So here's how you tell if it's limited slip or not with jacking up the car. So you can see the car is jacked up and we're gonna go turn the wheels. Can you turn that wheel right there clockwise? Like if the car is moving forward. So that wheel is turning clockwise, keep turning it clockwise. That wheel is going counterclockwise, the wrong way. So they're going opposite directions. Since they're going opposite directions, this means this is not a limited slip car. Uh, so there's no limited slip differential. It's a regular rear differential. So to do this, you want to make sure your car is in neutral. You have blocks on the front wheels so it doesn't roll anywhere. And you just make sure the emergency brake is off and you start turning the tire.